What is happening fellow hunters? Mike the Hunter here with another awesome video. Let me tell you something, today we are going back in time. And I mean back in time, back to the 80s. We're going back to the days of the California Raisins. Some of you older folks might be familiar with the California Raisins. Some of you newer kids are like, what the hell is that? So you guys know that in my collection, I like to display a little bit of everything that I'm into, whether it's cartoon, video game, horror, comic book figures, whatever it is, I have to display some sort of figurine or some sort of art piece to show my appreciation for that. Now, for a very long time, I've been wanting to display my California Raisin collection. In the meantime, they've been stored away in a box that uh, Chloe and I will bring out sometimes, play with them, set them up. Chloe's into the California Raisins too. She loves playing with the figurines. But never did I make time to provide a space uh, or a display for them. So that's what we're doing today. Before I do that, check out the shirt for today. Man, I tell you, five below, it's a hit and miss. Sometimes you'll find some cool shirts. And I like shit like this. Look, it's a little cartoon pickle, walking with a cane, his little sunglasses. It says, deal with it, bro deal with it and i thought dude this is a perfect shirt to wear today for presenting the california raisins because it kind of reminds me of the california raisins except it's a pickle so hope you guys like the shirt so these little guys did not become popular from a tv show or a movie no no these guys became popular through a commercial that was a cool idea to get kids to eat raisins to make raisins a cool food to eat so they created this commercial with claymation california raisins and ever since then they blew up and for those of you who have seen the commercials you know that these guys would sing and the types of songs that they would sing would be oldies such as marvin gaye's classic heard it through the grapevine and this was back in the mid 80s such a good time for a lot of cartoon characters to come to life a lot of tv shows a lot of golden commercials that you just don't get anymore and California Raisin commercials were one of them. Another fun fact about California Raisins, uh, their first album was released by Priority Records, but after the California Raisins album, guess whose first album was released? NWA, baby, NWA. So enough about the California Raisin history. I'll tell you how I became familiar with California Raisins as a kid. I was born in 1995, uh, 90s kid, thank goodness. I'm so glad that I had the experience to live as a 90s child experience all the cartoons back in the day experience what the hell a vhs tape was dude i show a vhs tape to my kid nowadays and they're like what is that what, what is that brick what do you do with this speaking of vhs tapes my mother would always you know pop in vhs movies for me to watch on some downtime you know keep me busy keep me entertained she had a vhs tape i think from my grandmother with recorded cable from back in the day so it would have all the cartoons that would come on and the commercials that would come with it so i pulled this picture off of the internet this is um <laughs> this is literally what it looked like it was a vhs tape with uh, christmas cartoons written on it and it was just loaded with christmas special cartoons from back in the day i remember some of them very vividly i know one of them was like a, a mickey mouse christmas special I know for sure this cartoon was on it, and I had to do some deep diving on the internet to even find what this cartoon was, just from visual images that I remember. This was called Somewhere in Dreamland, where it was uh, set during the Great Depression, and it followed two impoverished children who dream that they're in Dreamland, where there's you know a place full of candy, food, ice cream, and it's, it's very sad, but I, I remember this was on it. These were the type of cartoons that were on it. And one of the coolest little shorts that were on that VHS tape, a Christmas special of the California Raisins. It was a little short clay motion clip of them singing Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. As a kid, I loved seeing claymation stuff, like just the look of claymation figures, the old look they used to give these characters. It just caught my eye. That's how I first saw the California Raisins, you know, their little cartoons. Now, let's get down to the figurines. How did I ever get my hands on the figurines back in the day? You couldn't get these figures in like any storefront. They didn't come in like any packages or anything where you could just go to the store, Toys R Us and buy them. At least I don't think so. Where these figures came from was Hardee's. Hardee's and Carl's Jr. are literally the same thing. Carl's Jr. 
came after Hardee's and copied their look, copied their food. I can't get down to the specifics of why that happened, but Hardee's are what made the California Raisin figures come to life, man. The California Raisins are coming to Hardee's. Come on down and get a California Raisin figure with any purchase of a breakfast dessert. So you would get breakfast there and your meal would come with the California Raisin figure and you would collect them from there. I myself never got the experience to go to a Hardee's and get a California Raisin figure. I just my parents just never went to Hardee's. If you know Mike the Hunter, you know how I came in contact with a lot of old toys, different varieties of old toys. So if you know, you know. If you got the answer right, you guessed that I got them from thrift stores. The early 2000s where you would go to thrift stores, you would go to thrift shops and you would find a lot of old 90s, 80s toys because, well, that would be the time where a lot of people would donate old toys, right? Those old toys are gonna come from those early years. I got to experience going to a thrift store and they would just have tons of old figures that would be triple the price today because you can't find that stuff in thrift stores today. You might get lucky and find some old stuff from you know back in that time, very rare though. Nowadays, you go to thrift stores and you see toys from like five years ago, two years ago, a couple months ago. You see a lot of the new stuff, so it kind of sucks. I would go to the thrift stores a lot with my mother and I would here and there find a little California Raisin figure and I would snatch him up. You would get him for like 25 cents, 50 cents from a thrift store and sometimes they would come in a little bag. Now do I have the same California Raisins figures from when I was little? No. You know as you grow old you just lose shit, it just disappears. Maybe your parents donate it behind your back, maybe you just lost it, you accidentally threw it away, whatever it is man. But as an adult, you get adult money, you could buy whatever the hell you want, especially with eBay, and you could rebuy your collection like this one I have right here. So enough with the talking, let's deep dive into the collection. After I show you all my California raisins, I'm going to finally display them in the glass detolf. So let's do it. So I'm gonna start laying out all the guys that had the instruments. So here you have this dude with the trumpet and look, Look at the facial expressions that they would put on these guys, man. Their eyes squinting, their cheeks just blowing into that freaking saxophone. Looking cool, man. And I know I at least have, I at least have like three of these guys. So here is a double of this guy. Uh, tell me what instrument that is. I was never good in band. Oh my gosh, I have another one. This is a trumpet, right? So you got that one. That one comes with the blue combers, looking cool. You got this guy with the guitar and his orange Converse, looking cool. And I know I'm saying Converse, they might just be sneakers. They're not exactly Converse, but I'm just gonna call them. You guys already saw this guy with the cello. Love that guy, especially with the hairdo he's got. Let's see, another instrument player. We have the drummer. This one is a very valuable one that a lot of collectors look for online. This drummer goes for almost like $20 just for this figure alone. So as you can see, it says the California Raisins on the drum set. You got him playing, he's got his own little stool and everything. Very well detailed figure, super glad I have that one. You got this one that comes with a stereo, some sunglasses, yellow Converse. Okay, next I'm gonna bring out the background dancers. So you got this guy, which I believe I have like two or three of him. Got another one right here. Kind of the same character, just a bigger size. This one on a skateboard. That was pretty cool. I actually got two of him too. I'm sorry, I have three of him. Put him in the back. This one's pretty sweet. He's got rollerblades. He's got the hat. I actually have two rollerbladers, so put him right there. This one's got a surfboard. Red shoes, red sunglasses, looking fresh. You got a female California Raisin with uh, some shopping bags. Check that out. That bag right there says Hardee's. So that's pretty cool, man. I'm glad I got that one. This one's like a younger dude, younger kid. He's got a skateboard, very cool looking shoes. He's got like the flat top haircut. This one is a lot smaller than all of them, but again, he's a background dancer. Stick him right there. Now, this one looks funky as hell, but <laughs> You gotta have them, dude. It's a female with uh, some heels on. I'm gonna put her right there as a background dancer. This one's a bit of a rare one. It says Benny on his bowling bag. It's got a bowling ball, cool shades, some bowling shoes. It says right there, 
raising your average. <laughs> That's cool. Another background dancer, stick him right there. We got a female singer. So all the singers, I always put them in the middle or in the front. So they're the ones making the music happen. This one is a larger dancer. He's got uh, some blue shoes. He's very, he's a lot larger than most of them. Put him right there. This one I found at KS Collectibles, I believe. This one was like in their basket where they have like 50 cent toys or you know some of them that kids could take for free. This one was missing his hands, so, which is not a big deal. If I really had the time and I really wanted to put the time into it, I could sculpt some white hands and you know just plug them on with some putty and stuff. But I haven't had time so I haven't done it yet. But this is a very cool figure. He has turquoise sunglasses and turquoise tennis shoes. Got another extra female shopper. Put it right there in the back. Another surfboard guy. Put him in the back. This guy again, he's got the stereo. Another skateboard kid. Put him in the back. One male lead singer. I always put him in the very front. Put him right next to his partner. Look at them. They both got their hands out. They're looking at each other while they're singing. Very cool to have those two in the same collection. And then now we're getting into my three rare California Raisin figures. These are the rarest ones I have. We have the Michael Jackson California Raisin. This was from one of the commercials where they had Michael Jackson singing. And this was the figure doing the singing. And as you can see, he's got all the, you know, the leather, the, the shoes, he's got the hairdo. The Michael Jackson face. I don't know if you can see good, but this, the gloves are like sparkly. Some sparkly Michael Jackson gloves, so. That one is very special. Next we have the California Raisins manager, which is Rudy. This is Rudy, he's a carrot with a little cigar, and he's got, you know, this cool little 80s shirt with all the colored polka dots on it. He's got some sandals on. I love this guy, man. I had to have this guy in the collection. I bought him separately on, I think it was eBay. And then this lady right here came with him. This is a banana, sort of a nice little little side piece for Rudy. Got her right there. But that is my California Raisins collection. Now, I do have some other old school PVC figures that fit well in the collection, such as this guy. This guy is Mac Tonight from the very old school McDonald's commercials. Um, this guy was like a cool 40s, 50s jazz player. He had like a nice laid back attitude, kind of like Frank Sinatra, Louis Armstrong. Very good piece to have, man. He belongs with like Grimace and, and Ronald McDonald, Hamburglar, all those guys. Speaking of Hamburglar, had to have Hamburglar in the collection too. This is an old PVC figure. We got another Mac tonight. This one is him inside of a McDonald's car. That's a cool one. And then now I'm just diving into other random PVC figures from back in the day that I'm sure you guys would remember. This is one of them. This is like a one of these old toys, man. I think you'd see these guys at like Party City, something like that. I think I found this at a thrift store had to grab him. I just, I love these old cartoon figures, man, that you just can't find in stores anymore. Some other random ones that I've found along the way. I think this guy was free out of like a treasure box where you go to the thrift store, you buy some stuff, your kid gets a free toy out of the box. I don't know where he's from. 2021, uh, Kleperians? I don't know what the hell it is. It's some kind of company, but again, Thought he would fit good in the collection. Uh, right here we have an M&M figure. This one's definitely more rubbery, like a, an eraser texture. But, hey man, again, classic. Gotta have him right there. Uh, what's left in the box is just some random uh, figurines. These are like a lot of Christmas ones from the old school cartoons. You got Santa Claus, uh, let's see, Rudolph. Rudolph, I think that's Rudolph, right? No, that's not Rudolph. That's the, the girl, I don't know what her name is, but uh, it's that one, Abominable Snowman, and then these guys. But these came from like quarter machines. Damn, I have to put his gloves back on. 
These were figures that you'd get from quarter machines. Oh, I think they were called rascals. And they were little hood animals, man. You got a little rat there with like a Raiders jersey on, Raiders hat. Well, it's not really Raiders, but that's a skull. But these were little hood rat animals, man. Got this panther, looking dope. When I was like eight years old, we had a Del Taco down the street from us. And that Del Taco had this little quarter machine with these guys. So every time we went to Del Taco, my mom would give me a quarter, let me get one of these guys, and I would collect them little by little. Again, I lost them growing up. Didn't find them anywhere in stores. So one day I looked up on eBay. They had the whole entire collection for, I think, about 15 bucks or so. This one's one of my favorites. Look at that. It's a turtle doing some graffiti. It's got the backpack and everything. Love that one. This one's another one of my favorites. This is a tiger. Look at that. He's got a big ass white t-shirt on, gray hat. Very cool one. This one wasn't even an animal. This was like a ghost. He looks like a, a squirt of shaving cream. Yeah, a little cholo one. This was a frog, like a break dancing frog. This is the last one here. This is a shark. Very cool, man. Seeing these guys to this day, it just brings back childhood memories. These are toys that you just can't get nowadays. Now you try to get California raisins on eBay, Etsy. Man, they're, you could still get them for a decent price, but you're gonna have to buy them like in a lot price and you're gonna get a lot of doubles. But still, man, if you were into these guys, you remember them when you were a kid, you know how special they can be. Okay, so let me carefully open this glass. I just changed all of this Detolf today. I redid my uh, Marvel Legend villains. Redid the top with Captain America, all the Avengers, the Hulk. But right here, as you guys can see, I printed out a California Raisins 4x4 photo. It says California Raisins in motion, a flashback, and that's them just playing. Yeah, they're just jamming out. So I thought if I'm gonna display California Raisins, I'm at least gonna put some sort of cool picture from back in the day. So I'm gonna start from the top. I'm gonna put like uh, the, the background drummer, the background dancers, saxophone players and such, and just work my way down. I'm gonna get you first, my guy. You're gonna be the eye catcher. So, hoping you fit right in front of the California Raisin picture. Yep, just like that. Then I need my saxophone players. Yeah, put him right there. This guy right, put him right there. Another one right there, look at that. Put this extra right there, because it just makes sense, right? Now I think I could fit uh, the guitar players right here on the side, let's try that. A Little bit of a tight space, but that's perfect, man. You got the cello, you got the guitar, and you got the trumpets. Now I'm gonna do the dancers and the singers. All right, there you have the dancers and the singers. Down below, I'm just gonna do all the miscellaneous figures and then again, the same thing down here. So let's see how many raisins we could fit. Boom, there you have it. I fit all the miscellaneous ones, all the cool guys. And then down below, got Mac. Got Mac tonight. Couple raisins, Rudy, a nice banana lady. If you guys know her name, comment her name below. I just I just call her banana lady. Now, I have a space open right there. What's gonna go there? A little something I grabbed on Etsy to uh, fit this nice collection here. So I'm gonna unbox that real quick and place him right in there. Hamburglar, I think, you know what? Hamburglar, Eminem, and this guy, I know just the spot for him. Down here, I started sort of like a an old school restaurant collection. So you got like the Twinkie, you got Ronald McDonald, the Cheetos Pop, the Twinkie the Kid. There's an old creepy McDonald's clown. You got Jolly Bee, and then of course Bob's a big boy. So I already got like a vibe going on here that these guys will fit perfectly into, so. 
can go ahead and fit the Hamburglar right there. Got Mac tonight in his car. And the M&M guy could fit right there. So there you have it, man. There's a nice little collection coming along here. And with this collection, I still plan to fill it up with other cool characters from uh, restaurant chains. For example, I want to get the Wiener Schnitzel uh, Wiener guy. Have him running in here. I want to get the old Jack in the Box Bendy figure. Um, just all of the old, maybe like a Burger King character, uh, Grimace, all those I want in this collection. So I just have to take it little by little, you know, little at a time, collect them here and there because old figures like that are incredibly expensive to get nowadays. So like I said, little by little, I'm starting to collect the little PVC figures from my childhood. And this was one of them I found on Etsy. Little by little, I'm starting to collect the little PVC figures from my childhood. And this was one of them I found on Etsy. I got these pieces, there are three pieces in here. I got them for 10 bucks. From anyone who loves collecting old vintage figures like that, you know that you have to have this guy in your collection. I had to get me a Noid figure. Comes with like a little uh, jackhammer, which is cool. And this guy's crazy, man. This guy's always causing a mess, but just his character, look at him, he looks all wonky, his eyes. I had to add him in the collection, so definitely gonna put him in the case. Now what was cool about this one is that it came with a double, so that's literally the same figure in there. I don't care to unwrap it, I'd rather keep it safe. Uh, maybe give this one to Chloe as an extra, but uh, yeah, that's another Noid figure, same exact one. But the piece that came with the Noid figure, I thought was super cool. This one's definitely gonna go in my restaurant collection. So if I'm gonna collect all the restaurant chains, you know, PVC figures and stuff like that, you gotta add Domino's Pizza. Look at that guy. That is a PVC Domino figure for Domino's Pizza. He's got the sunglasses. He's got it all, dude, he looks sick. And you know what, just because he has the sunglasses, he has the nice colored shoes, he looks like he's gonna fit perfectly inside that California Raisins case, so I think I'm gonna add him in there. And yeah, I know it's an ick, he's got scratches on him, on his gloves, on his nose, but uh, for a figure this size and for how cheap it was, I don't care. Um, I could always grab some white paint, paint over his nose, call it a day. Um, it just doesn't bother me too much. It's something I'll get to, but yeah, man. He's got to go inside the collection, so let's add him in. And there you have it, man. I had to add those guys in there, and they look great. Definitely glad I scored that piece, because I was originally just shopping for a Noid figure, and I found a little lot purchase that included him, so that's a big score, man. Very cool. Comment below what you guys think. You guys like the setup? You like how it was all displayed? Let me know. So I'm gonna go ahead and close the glass. See how everything looks with the, you know, the glass shine. And one thing I've learned about displaying your figures behind glass, it makes them look so much more valuable. Now I'm working on getting uh, another Detolf light. As you can see, the three pass lights didn't work out. They were battery operated. I hate having battery operated lights because you always have to change them out. So I'm working on getting one that plugs in so I can just always have the Detolf light on. I can finally light these guys up, make them look even better. So yeah. Little peep of the other side of the collection here. Everything looking neat, nice and neat. Yeah guys. That is gonna be it for today. But comment below if you guys are also California Raisins fan, if you guys ever experienced the California Raisins when you were a kid, um, and what was your favorite type of vintage, old cartoon that you would wanna collect. I'm gonna get out of here, admire my collection a little bit more. Thank you again. I hope you guys enjoy your figures. I hope you guys enjoy your families. And as always, good hunting. And if you don't like the California Raisins very much, you don't dig my display, hey, <laughs> deal with it. <laughs> Deal with it. T-shirt. Get it? <laughs>